renewing your mind. If someone tells me that I've got to have media in my church because culture needs media, it still will not be in my church. I am not called to conform to culture. If you can't read, then when you get saved, I will teach you to read. If you can't sit 25, 35, 40, an hour and a half to hear a good sermon, then I will teach you how to do it. You have got to learn. You are the first generation, young people, who think that in order to reach your age, you've got to become like your culture to be relevant in your culture. You're the first Christian generation to believe that. All other Christians said this, to be effective in my culture, I've got to be completely different than my culture. Biblical, godly, holiness, simplicity. That is why. That is why you, all your noise is so useless. Everything about you was taught you by someone you should not have been listening to. I, for many years, I had a lot of hope the last 10 years, looking at all the young men that were studying good theology and reading good books and going back to the old stuff, I had a lot of hope. That hope has been dashed against the rocks because I've realized it's, it's gone to the head, but they're still cool. They're still worldly. They're basically saying, look, I can be worldly and theologically correct at the same time. You can't be worldly and godly at the same time. Don't go to culture to find out what culture wants in order for you to be able to reach them. Go to Scripture and say, Jesus, how do you want me to be? How do you want me to talk? How do you want me to walk? How do you want me to dress? What do you want my relationships like? Jesus, I submit to you. My goal is to be pleasing to you, to him, to the wind with all your stuff. <laughs> 